video, we developed the framework and we obtained the dynamic equilibrium condition for the Domer's growth model. Now we will develop the solution for the Domer growth model that will be the solution of the investment and its time path. So we are borrowing this uh, condition that we developed in the last video. Productive capacity remains fully utilized over time. This is the basic premises of the Domer's growth model. And in other words, we can write it like this, a dynamic equilibrium condition. This is how it is explained. That is the rate of change of income over time remains equal to the rate of change of productive capacity over time. And we also have the values of these two um, ratios or the derivatives. The value of this derivative is found in the framework that we did in the last video and the value of this derivative was also developed and it was also there in this in that video now we can put both of these values and see that how we can extract the value of investment from it to develop its time path so you can see the left hand side is substituted here and the right hand side is substituted here the values they are substituted in this equilibrium condition of dynamic equilibrium. Rearranging these terms because we are in search of the investment time path. So I in terms of T is to be found. So we bring all the investment containing terms on the left hand side and the right hand side has the other terms where T variable is also present. Introducing integrals on both sides because we want to get rid of these d's, that is the differentials. We want an equation uh, in an algebraic way without any integrals or derivatives. So the integrals are brought on both sides and we take its uh, uh, integral both on the left hand side and the right hand side. On the left hand side the constant of integration is generated which is ci and on the right hand side the constant of integration is ct which means that they are based on their respective variables that is investment and time whereas the solution of the integrant is very easy because this is i and its derivative is uh, um, over there that is 1 with which di is multiplied which is the uh, other part of the integral operator so 1 over i when integrated gives us natural log of i that is derivative over function rule is applied here. Now when we integrate this constant or a product of two constants which gives us a constant in any situation we get rho s t. t comes as a variable that is previously it was t power 0 but after integration it became t raised to the power 1. So after this simple process of integration, we can combine the two constants on the right hand side because they are not wanted on the left hand side. We only want integration on the left hand side. Subtracting these two constants, we will get another constant. For example, 5 minus 3 will be equal to 2. That is yet another constant. The other terms they are the same but now we realize that we do not want the natural log of investment we want the value of investment in its actual form so we uh, try to get rid of this natural log and for that a simple recipe is available that we can raise natural exponent here and when we do that is on both sides we get this expression the natural log and the natural exponent they get cancelled out and we are left with investment only which is something we want here the exponent was raised and the uh, whole term now is present in the exponent or the superscript since the base is the same we can write this term that is the arbitrary constant separately with exponent and when we do we realize that the exponent of any constant, no matter it is c or any other constant, 
it will give us another constant as a result so it does not become variable so it's more convenient to write one symbol instead of writing two that is e as well as c so we use a symbol a for the answer of exponent of constant c now this is a more convenient form of the solution that we are trying to achieve finally on the right hand side we are introducing t as a determining variable because we know that time is affecting investment as it is the independent variable here however there is something more that we can refine and it is the presence of this arbitrary constant a which is based upon ct and ci which were two constants of integration and we know about the nature of these constants of integration that is they are arbitrary in nature we have done this in some previous videos so you can refer back to it that why they are considered to be arbitrary in nature however we know that arbitrary value is uh, undetermined it is yet to be decided so something which is yet to be decided is not welcome in our expression of investment because we cannot plot this because we do not know or the value of a is also not determined so we need to determine its value so we get able to plot this on a certain graph of time path so it remains an indeterminate or general time path it is not determinate it is not definite it is not specific for that we can introduce the initial condition to definitize it and initial condition is the situation where the independent variable is equal to 0 here the independent variable is time so we put t is equal to 0 this will help us to definitize this arbitrary constant this is the way out otherwise the arbitrary constant a will remain there so instead of t we are writing 0 in all those places that is these two places when we simplify we get this expression where the value of a is extracted that is it is equal to investment in its initial level that is i naught that is investment now when no time has passed so now we can put this value of a in the general time path and when we do it becomes this version of the time path now there is no arbitrary element in it and instead of arbitrary element we have an initial level of investment which can be known which is determined and we also know about s which is a parameter and we also know about the productive capacity capital ratio which is also assumed to be constant so only time is the variable that is defining the level of investment so now we have a definite solution of the time path because there is no arbitrary constant in it and it is time path because it is dependent upon time so finally we have developed the time path of the investment as per the Domer's growth model which is a time path or the um, path of investment that will keep the two sides that is the demand side and the supply side in equilibrium while moving over time that is the dynamic equilibrium will be retained so this in uh, equilibrium uh, will be dynamic and the time path is ensuring that we are at equilibrium as we are going ahead in time this was done by using some integration and some assumptions of the Domer's growth model and in the next video we will do a numerical exercise of Domer's growth model based upon the solution that we got that is the time path of investment in this video thank you